Now let's see these questions. The ratio of present ages of Susmita and Prabha is 7 is to 3 and the difference is 16 years. Then the sum of their ages is. So this question is on ratios. So they are saying that Susmita is to Prabha ages are 7 is to 3 in the ratio 7 is to 3 and the difference of the ages is 16. So what you can find out is you can assume that if Susmita says is 7x and Prabha says is 3x then they are saying that the difference between their ages can I assume 7x and 3x? Yes. Why? Because the ratio is still 7 is to 3, right? Okay, then they are saying that the difference is 16. Now, what does it mean? 4x equal to 16. What does it mean? x equal to 4, right? So, now they are asking about the sum of their ages. So, sum of their ages is 7x plus 3x, isn't it? So, what is 7x plus 3x? It is 10x, which means 10 into 4 is 40. So, 40 is the answer for the first one. Now, what about the second one? The ratio of present age of Sudipa and Madhu is 3 is to 4. And then the ratio of the ages will be 4 is to 5, 6 years hence. 6 years hence means 6 years later. Okay. Then the present age of Madhu is. So, they are saying that if you assume that the Sudipa says is S and Madhu says is M, then S is to M equal to 3 is to 4. That is what they are saying. And the ratio of the ages will be 4 is to 6, 6 years hence. Which means after 6 years, if I take the ratio of the ages, then it is going to be 4 is to 5. So, these two are given. Now, from this, you are supposed to find out what is the present age of Madhu. So, you have to find out what the value of M is, Madhu is. Right? So, how to solve it is, S by M is given as, 3 by 4 right so you can write this from this s equal to 3 by 4 m right and you can substitute it in one of them okay so in the other equation it is given as s plus 6 by m plus 6 equal to 4 by 5 now in place of s you can substitute 3 by 4 m then what do you get here 3 by 4 m plus 6 divided by m plus 6 equal to 4 by 5. Now, if you cross multiply this and if you solve for m, you are going to get m equal to 24 years. Okay, fine. Hi, if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177. And IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. 
So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.